Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and the Durham Report. It brought bad news for Hillary Clinton and that news, well, it just got worse. Folks, before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and help our channel continue to grow. So the Durham Report showed that there was like an intertwining of FBI agents with the Clinton campaign the FBI and the Department of Justice knew that the Clinton campaign funded the dossier on former President Donald Trump, the infamous Steele dossier, which has been roundly debunked at this point. They knew that it was essentially a campaign op, and yet they and their friends in the media propagated this, pushed this to the public, and it didn't work. You know, Trump was still elected, but a, a cloud hung over his presidency for four years. They still go ahead... They still claim that Trump is in bed with Russia. They still claim this. So, you know, the lie has, has gone on and on and on and really done some damage. Well, there was investigations that were done into Clinton by the same FBI, into Clinton, into the Clinton Foundation. There were four separate investigations, and all four of those investigations were dropped. And now at least one Republican in Congress, and actually there's more, but at least one is speaking out about wanting to know more about those and perhaps starting those investigations again. That's Representative Byron Donalds. Let's take a look. I want to uh, pivot to the Durham report uh, and the revelations from that or lack thereof and just some of the media reaction to it. Listen. Durham's whole thing is predicated on, it, it's like a rabbit hole conspiracy. This is a predictable, sad ending to an investigation that never should have taken place. What you have with John Durham is, like, it's a big, fat nothing. Durham is a, is a kind of pathetic character. Uh, James Carville in his trusted LSU t-shirt there. Kim Strachel says this on the media. I mean, what does the media exist for? It's supposed to be there to question government power. And among the agencies that have the most power in government are those of law enforcement. And yet we have a media that's now in lockstep defending the FBI, Congressman. No, you're absolutely right. Look, the media was in on this from the beginning, in my view. They were the ones that were helping to launder out Hillary Clinton's phony, made-up uh, information about Donald Trump, the same information that she used with her friends at the upper echelon of FBI to start the Crossfire Hurricane investigation. So her media friends are not going to come out now and say, oh, yeah, you know what? We were wrong, and this is damning. They're just going to laugh it off, cover it for one or two days, and then ignore it. And this is really dangerous for our country, because what the report clearly shows is that you had rank and file in the FBI and three different offices who had serious concerns about the Clinton Foundation mm -hmm. and what was going on around Hillary Clinton. And I think one of the most damning things in this report that really isn't talked about is that John Brennan actually briefed Barack Obama and then Vice President Joe Biden on July 26 about what the Clinton campaign was doing. And we have no idea what the reaction was from President Obama at that time. You know, he could have shut the whole thing down right then and there. Obviously, he did not. But this is terrible for the country when you have the political arm of the FBI and the Department of Justice choosing to go after a presidential candidate simply because he was an outsider who had no ties in Washington and because Hillary Clinton wanted to be president and by hook or by crook, she was going to try to get that done. It's a let, good let, thing for America that she failed. Let me, if I could, Congressman, quickly come back to the uh, allegations in the Durham report about uh, four investigations into the Clinton Foundation that were being undertaken by three FBI field offices, uh, suddenly being shut down shortly before the 2016 election. Uh, your colleague in the House, Matt Gates, and your former colleague in the House, Jason Chaffetz, want those investigations reopened. If the DOJ and the FBI refuse to do it, should there be congressional investigations? Oh, no, I totally agree. We should definitely be looking into this because you have a situation here where they had some basis of information to start those inquiries. And the report clearly shows you had, I believe it was uh, Peter Strzok and other people high up in the FBI who came in through it in one meeting and shut it all down with no reasoning. Then you had back channel text messages and emails saying, well, look, Hillary might be president. So do you think she's going to re reward you if you continue to look into this? It stinks. 
and the American people need to know about it. So I think those inv investigations should be restarted into what was going on with the Clinton Foundation mm -hmm. uh, at the time. Because if some of the uh, initial allegations are true, that you had foreign countries donating to the Clinton Foundation for preferential treatment in the future, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, there's real concerns that that similar situation is happening with the Biden administration. So we should be looking into this. All right. Appreciate your time today, sir. Thank you. He's absolutely correct to question what the FBI's intentions and motives were and why they would drop such an investigation. After you read the Durham report and you read, you know, what these agents said to each other about Hillary becoming president and she's not going to like this and all that, you have to question their motivations because their motivations seem like self-preservation, and they also seem like we want Hillary Clinton to become president, so we don't want to hurt her. That's not how the FBI and the Department of Justice are supposed to work. And if that's what's happening, well, then a lot of house cleaning has to be done at the FBI, if not have it defunded altogether. That's what Donalds and Gates and Jordan are looking into, and I think it needs to be looked into. And these investigations should be started again. It's time to get something done, finally. This is why Republicans took back the House, and it's nice to see that they're actually doing the work we sent them there for. Folks, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.